Hello, I am Martin Fenska and welcome to another episode of Let's Play Civilization V as Austria. At the end of the previous episode, Suleiman and Casimir declared war on us, so I had to change my plans quite significantly. I've already given some orders, the diplomat is now going home, and uh, I cancelled all the buildings and instead I queued up, I don't know, like six Gatling guns. So that we can defend our territory, but maybe more importantly, uh, rather than defending our territory, we'll try to defend uh, some city-states. And I think it's Riga that's in trouble, so the plan is to get those Gatling guns and send them south. We can have like multiple Gatling guns sitting around the, the city-state, and I think... Uh, they should be quite safe even on the coast because that, that will be Gatling guns that might be bombarded by Galassis. And uh, uh, like the biggest advantage here is the position, uh, positioning of Riga because it's very difficult uh, to, to move around Riga to get in position to attack the tiles behind it. So we will have, or the plan at least, is to have like three, maybe four uh, Gatling guns sitting on the coast, attacking anything that Poland says, together with the city bombardment from Riga and the zone of control around the city. We'll hopefully be able to uh, like prevent Riga from falling, that's the plan. Um, then there are more city-states, of course, around the map that are in danger. But we can't predict everything, especially Brussels might be in trouble, but yeah, we can only defend real one city-state. Uh, so, we'll just see what happens and we'll try to react to the situation somehow. It's hard to say how exactly this is going to develop. Now, we have uh, two caravels here that can try to get home somehow. If I just cancel the auto-explore and try to move them... Uh, do we have open borders with Poland? Why do I'm in Poland? Um, this guy, Sweden. Uh, we do. So I could try to get home through their territory where I'll be safe from Polish ships. I guess there are some Polish ships here. So we can just go this way and then come from the north, upgrade those caravels. Maybe use them not to defend something, but well, we will see about that. First, we have to get them home. Okay, we can end the turn here. Mm, hopefully, we don't see. I uh, don't see. Don't uh, lose the diplomat on this turn. Another problem might be like ending this war because it will be very difficult to build up any positive score. I don't want to. Take cities, I don't want to attack real anything. So we will see what we can do and how the situation develops. I really don't have a plan for this. Okay, start moving south. Here we don't have the money for an upgrade yet. And one shot another unit. I could kill the envoy, but I think I'd rather get home safely. Musket man can just do a little bit of damage. Cargo ship will just sit in the city until the end of the war. And I can probably send the Tercia south. In case Poland decides to send some land units so that they have protection for the Gatling gun, at least for a while. Okay. Uh, how am I friend with Vatican when they hate me? This has to be wrong. Whatever. Just checking. What do we have around here? I don't think that I have any like envoys going anywhere. Okay, fine. Next turn. Just need our Gatling guns up as soon as possible. It's 
Sweden is plotting against us. I hope they don't declare, speaking about people who are plotting against us. Dude, why would you declare? He's on the other side of the map. Okay, everyone just moves to the capital, well, closer, we'll try to protect the worker, the worker should still be fine, I can maybe even finish those railroads around the capital, fortify, we'll move closer, next, um, Fine. Oh, that's okay. I don't see how the Tercio could get to me. Next. Okay, more Gatling guns. For time. Thinking which tile is safer, if it's this one or this one, it's probably the same. Next. I don't think that even if Poland sends literally everything they have to Vienna, they can take it. Just too far ahead. A merchant, engineer, well, they all just sit in the capital. Why can't I shoot anything? Has to be wrong. What the hell? Another ship down. What is this? Killed Indonesian spy. And you'll just hide in the capital for now. 44, 44. Is there a wonder that we could build, maybe? Uh, Eiffel Tower. Question is how expensive? 2900. Or I can't afford to go for it, even if I rushed it. How am I supposed to find the the great engineer in this mess this way? Just out of curiosity. 
that's not gonna work. Fortify. Oh, I can. I allege that the trade route may be next there and five. No, it will get far enough probably to escape. Next. Oh no, 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 I plundered it for 937 gold. And we are also at war with Polynesia because he is uh, in Canvassel. Okay, so we are now at war with half of the world. Great. Let's just go for the one shot. And we keep attacking ships around the Riga. Uh, the Tercio can sit here, just keep some Polish ships busy. Can I safely go this way? No. Probably gonna lose the caravel. Think if I can just pay for the Eiffel Tower and then finish it with the uh, with the engineer. Next. Well, that's a brave crossbowman. How is he so damn tough? What's going on? How is this possible? Uh, I managed to one-shot a caravel on one turn and now even two attacks don't kill crossbowmen? Is it because I have the Tercio as a garrison now? I really don't understand why the city is suddenly doing less damage. Fortify. Oh, and our ships somehow survived. Okay. Go around. Next. Also, we have a great general, but I should probably leave the great general in Vienna because it increases the city strength. Fort 
Foarte frumoase. Foarte frumoase. I can probably upgrade the Tercio now. Okay, next. I wonder if I can prevent Wall of Riga. Okay, can I kill this knight? There we go. And one more upgrade. You could probably always do it the other way around first, get the upgrade, then attack with the city. Next. Okay, this city didn't take that much damage on this turn. Come on. This is a little bit greedy, but I wanted that kill. And suddenly we are one-shotting units again. That's odd. Okay, go. This is good that Poland is moving this way because Genoa has uh, four corvettes, so that might be a bit of a problem uh, for Caravels and Galases. Um, oh, I wanted Sidon for myself. Oh, well, during these wars, I won't be able to do anything about city states you just have to survive somehow wait for the peace treaty and they then take back everything that we've lost uh here we go we should uh, now finish that spy quest this one should give us some science Ships are probably more important now, so let's keep killing those. Uh, you'll move into friendly territory. Same here. And how expensive are those upgrades? We'll check that next turn. You'll sit where you are. And what are we looking at? Attack. And attack here. Boy. Fortify. So two cargo ships survived somehow. Next. Okay. 
Poland adopted freedom. Poland. They adopted freedom and already have four tenets. That's just so unfair. A strategic monopoly on iron. Yeah, that's just some territory of our allies being pillaged. Or, no, they didn't pillage our own iron yet. Come on. Andre, that's not that expensive. Oh, yeah. Eighty-four. Thinking about moving on this tile, but that would leave the Gatling gun pretty exposed. But that also means they won't be attacking the city-state. Okay, let's move forward. So it seems that we have the support from Corvette. And Indonesia declared on uh, Ottomans. That's great, because that means uh, he can't send reinforcements. Hopefully it will force him to just peace out with us. Now we lost our own iron. Let's kill this knight. I don't want to lose uh, the academy. Fortify. And we just keep going. Probably gonna be pretty annoying for a while. Good news is that all the city-states are still on the map, and uh, you can see that, uh, where is it? Uh, yeah, some of the AIs that we are fighting right now just peaced out with uh, city-states. Hopefully no city-states fall, and what is this? Uh, yep, let's move, where is it here? From Warsaw. Cusco. Maybe not to Cusco, maybe to another city. Because we need a thief. That should be faster finishing the quest with a thief. Let's pay for that upgrade. And next. Now we probably start checking our peace treaties every turn. Oops. Some minor lag oh 
Oh, really? Well, I might will try. But all these caravels are in pretty bad shape, so maybe I could send uh, this one corvette and try to get rid of them. Surprising. Uh, we have top level spy protecting our capital, and they still manage to steal metallurgy. But isn't metallurgy like. Mm, look at that. Wow. It's like two eras behind. How many tags do they have? 47, and we have 50. So they are really far ahead. In this part of the skill tree, are they in modern era? No, industrial era, so they don't have biology yet. But they're probably pretty close. Okay, next. There's first Polish Corvette. That could be a bit of a problem. The Ottomans are moving back. And Jenna is doing a really good job. What are we looking at? Let's check those antiquity sites. And by the way, we have enough money to upgrade. No, I don't want to upgrade to iron class, especially now. You'll most likely lose more alliances, and that means the number of strategic resources we have access to will decrease. Now let's just get to uh, Corvettes, and that will have to be enough at least for now. Antiquity sides. We have one, two, actually three even. The antiquity sides. Are there any more in the range anywhere? Checking uh, for our um, reformation belief. I think that's it. That gives us extra delegates in the World Congress for antiquity sites. Okay, so it means we want two archaeologists at least, but for now we just need more and more units. Might be enough with Gatling guns. How much room do we still have for eight units? Queue up seven cruisers. Or five, six, seven. How long is it gonna take to get another another scientist? That's a long time. Do we have a scientist slot? No. Can we get a scientist slot?
we don't need to rush more units, it seems. So let's get the, the public school. Our research is pretty slow at this point. Yeah, let's try to get uh, more science because we need to get the telecommunications if you want to win. And the faster we get there, the less likely it is that uh, we will just get uh, destroyed by these random wars. Get another social policy. So what is that going to be? I think I want uh, scientific revolution. Because that's just a 20% boost for our capital. And observatory, I think, has two scientist slots. Let's see, can we build observatory? Yeah, there's two scientists, so that will be first observatory into public school, and we work all the scientist slots to get as many scientists as possible. Next. So you want to peace out. And you want me to pay? Why would I pay? Yeah, I'm not paying for peace. He didn't even touch me. Or five. Why would I pay? Riga seems to be fine. Let's send a Gatlingan to the coast here and probably one Gatlingan north. We can take ideology now. In this case, I think freedom is the only ideology that makes sense. Let's see if there is anything that would help us with uh, our victory type uh, probably just more spies so that we can rig elections in as many city states as possible extra trade routes might be useful as well um combat strength of cities increased by 30 to 30 percent that could be interesting with the strength of our capital we can get the free golden age. Golden age just lasts 50% longer, but I'm not sure if we still need that. There isn't a single tenet that would give extra votes in the World Congress. Out of curiosity, there be anything here? Three additional spies. May just go order for those spies. Two free technologies. That's like. So much better than anything the uh, we would get from freedom. I didn't realize that freedom was so bad for diplomatic victory. Autocracy. Do 
You don't have to give to this to generate influence. Wild war influence with the states does not decay. Militaristics in the states you don't give to rate triples. Still not that good. Now, all these like pacifist tenets are focused on tourism. Uh, can bully friendly city states. Doing so decreases the influence of all other safes with that city state by 25%. Increases your influence by 25%. This could be interesting, but uh, it would take so long to get to it, so it's probably not gonna be relevant. Um, once again, freedom. To make sure I didn't miss anything, treat the organization plus for influence per turn with city states you have a trade route with. We are already getting influence with city states we have trade route with. Four delegates scaling with map size for the World Congress. So, treat the organization could be what we are looking for. Actually, missed that. But um, before that. From level two, most likely go for their finest hour and free hospital just to save some production. And he won extra trade routes. Extra spy and avant garde compared to order where we would go, and we would be rushing Great Leap forward. That's the like main reason, and three spies. It's close, but I think I'll go freedom. Like the decisive uh, factor is uh, that Poland has freedom. Uh, so once we peace out, <coughs> excuse me, uh, it'll be less likely they declare again when we have the same ideology. Okay, fine. Let's go freedom. And the first one wants to rig election and coups in city states doubled. Yeah, covert action have to be first. He checks the states. He's blocked. P is blocked. Friends with Vatican. So why is it still red? Because we are at war. This is odd, like... Vatican should be friendly, but we are at war. We will go to Ormus. Or... We could go to Tyre, because we don't have a marriage there. Oh, we already have a spy in Tyre. Okay, Ormus... Will be the choice then I can find it here fortify and next I've given up on the Eiffel Tower. I don't think that's uh, such a high priority for us. Nagoya has been captured by Sweden. Wow. It's probably like a small island city. It was way too close to, to Sweden so that Japan didn't have a chance to defend it. And probably one of the newer cities. I don't think that uh, Sweden can be winning so decisively to just take one of the original Japanese cities. On oh, need these attacks to be kills.
next. Okay, now Poland wants to try and attack our capital. Yep, good luck with that. Okay, so we finished the quest I didn't even know about. I now not paying attention to quests. I just want to end these wars and then I'll again check the situation in the world. But I noticed that we should have a quest from here. Where is it? Here. What do you want? Oh, do we have? Two quests against uh, Apache Akuti? We do, and somehow we only have one operation remaining. I think the description is wrong. Uh, where is it? Come on, is it here? Oh, we can't see the description, but I think when we receive these quests, they want us to do three actions, and now in the quest description there is only one. I'm not gonna complain, we just have to finish one against Pache Kuti and get like five and a half thousand science. Fortify. Okay, what are you looking at? We should get a natural golden age. Yeah, we should get two natural golden ages actually. So it should be safe to pop this guy. Uh, for the great work, let me just check how long it's gonna take to get uh, the next one. Artist 42 turns. We definitely have enough Golden Age points to get 42 turns of Golden Age. Yep, yeah, that's fine. So that's gonna be a great work. Fortify, fortify. And uh, there is nothing to do with the musician now. Do we have an opera house? Browse, we do. What are we supposed to do with musicians? We'll probably just uh, unlock the specialist slots instead, work those scientist slots, and uh, maybe. Get one more academy, although at this point it's probably too late for academies. Whatever, I'll just sit here. And maybe in the future we'll get like another slot wor for great works of music. Maybe from a wonder or something. Next. Oh, hey, really? Round two? Florence has been captured by the Inca. Great. Oh, where is Florence? Doesn't matter, it's just gone.
now I can attack. How many points do we need for the next golden age? Yep, we are fine. I don't really care if Indonesia gets sanctioned. But look at that, we still have 36 votes. 10, 21, 28, 30? Not too bad. So we can do one against the world religion, just in case. I think there'll be other people voting against that. Maybe let's do it this way. And let's get our sphere of influence. Go. Yeah, I'm not paying. I'm winning this. Gatlingan may have to move back. Cannon and Frigate is probably too much. World religion fails. Oh, sanction Indonesia passed. Interesting. Well, there are so many votes. I didn't expect so many people to vote for this proposal. I thought there would be uh, more votes invested against the world religion. Okay. I don't really care if everyone in the world gets sanctioned. We want to... Actually, we are losing trading partners but all we are selling is really just chocolate yeah whatever and we have our sphere of influence so no one really cares about it What are our options? We could sanction Poland just because they are getting on my nerves. We go for another sphere of influence. And those are the only two proposals that we really care about. Am I mad enough that I would just sanction Poland over another alliance? Let's see. Which alliance do we still want? Again, I'm allied. Oh, there we go. Now I can peace out. Can I also peace out with Vatican? No, this is just completely bugged. Just checking where we still need marriages. We have this covered. Zanzibar, probably Zanzibar. Okay, sphere of influence. 
Zanzibar. I'll just finish the public school fast there. How does it look like that scientist now? 25. Still not that fast. Not paying. I will have to check the score why they are asking for money. How much money is Poland making? 163. They have to be just spamming units in all cities. Oh well. Minus, how do we have minus 50 score? Minus 32. Minus 50. What the hell? I can't negotiate with this guy separately. How much would this be? I think this is reasonable. Okay, because now we can uh, just move back to our capital. I'll cancel the Gatling gun. We'll focus on ships. Riga is safe. Ottomans. Once you get our ships, I'll just send the fleet and take the city. And that should uh, improve our score because the score is horrible. That's all the city states losing units. That's the problem. Oh, there was Florence. Damn, this war is a mess. Okay, right there. Uh, how much do we need? We don't really care about great work, so I guess I'll just get the culture. Saved us, what, 12 turns? Okay, next. Open borders. No, definitely not. Thinking if it's now safe enough to just send the trade route, because we would 
finish a quest there. Oh, white piece. Yes, please. With minus 50 score, white piece is unexpected to say the least. Now we only have one more war to go. I can wait. The score should improve. And I don't think he's just strong enough to really do any damage, any more damage to city states. And he's at war with Japan, is it? Indonesia. Gonna do this. Probably leave our Gatling guns around Riga. I have a feeling there might be another war with Poland. And Sidon. Want to get the marriage. How long do we need and how much is it gonna cost? Three turns so far, so we are looking at the turn. 300, what, 65, 66? Okay, trade route to Riga should be safe now. Cancel all these cruisers for now. If I should build the seaport, it might be easier to just buy our ships. Okay, let's build the seaport instead, then the wire service, and then we will see. Don't like losing Eiffel Tower, but uh, it's not crucial for us. So let's forget about it and instead focus on normal buildings. And we all get Empire State Building, that is probably more important. Okay, now our great diplomats. What do you want to do with them? You'll send one to Mombasa, because there isn't an embassy yet. We have another one. That we will send or Sidon once again here. Oh, there is an embassy. And the plan was to go to Valenta, so I'll still do that. I'll just have to be careful around uh, Ottomans. But I should be able to get through go this way. We should have open borders with Indonesia. Next. Oh, and uh, one more thing. Perils? Do I have two copies of Perils? I do. Do I want to trade with you though? But what I want is an embassy. Let's start with that. And Perils for what? For six? Sure. Let's try to get a trade deal. Make the next war slightly less probable. There is the reward for the trade route to Riga. 
Where's our worker? Wait, wait. Japan, where are you? And let's lock the last public school. Okay, uh, Seaport has a, a slot for an engineer. And we also probably want to get the factory. It's one call as well. We should be able to fill all these specialist slots because we don't need this one they're growing in 10 if i unlock this would we grow at not yeah we'll grow in nine perfect so another thing our archaeologist can the seaport wait and just quickly get two archaeologists And one more thing, can we fade by great people? We could fade by an engineer. Uh, if I buy an engineer, I might be able to get the Eiffel Tower after all. Okay, I'm just greedy. Next. Why? What have I done? We just lost great diplomat. That again was out of nowhere. Later mail, I don't care about that. Armors desire straight route. Well, even though we most likely lose the cargo ship, I will do it because that, that's a ton of food and we'll get uh, the alliance probably or get close to an alliance. There we go, that's the quest for Sidon, so extra happiness. And 760 influence, wow. Markon might be in trouble. I don't think they can really do anything to Sidon. Can we just peace out with this guy? There we go. How many tags does he have? 41. We have... 51. What did he declare? Okay, whatever. Uh, let's make a cut here. Actually, before we make a cut, one more thing. 
Can I kill the Carolian? Yep. I can recapture the worker and return it. And let's send cover for the worker, just in case. Fortify. I think that's it for this turn. I mean, yeah, for this turn and for this episode. Actually, not for this turn. I still have to decide if I want to use uh, the engineer now or wait, because... How much is that? It's like 2,000? We would still be two or three turns away. We can. Pro it's better probably to wait three turns and then pop him. So I'm not sure if anyone else can be building Eiffel Tower. Where is it? It's unlikely though. It's very unlikely. But well, we'll see in the next episode. This one was pretty messy, so hopefully next time it will be a bit clearer. Uh, but I still hope that you liked the episode. I hope that you're gonna join me next time again. And until then, have a good time. Bye-bye.